another beautiful morning. Need to make a supply run. So I'm going to do a longer loop, kind of going around towards uh, Kings, Kings Valley uh, National Forest to 245, taking it south onto um, Dunlop Road. But then I'm also going to continue going west up in the mountains on the south side of this valley to Hoffman Point. Uh, it looks like it's more residential up there. It's much more steep uh, incline, probably going up and down, but I want to check it out. And it should loop all the way back around to Squaw Valley. So it's double the length of my last video um, where I took uh, Dunlop Road and 245 as well. Also, there's news today that California this afternoon, late this afternoon, will uh, close all national forests in California. So that's going to be interesting because a lot of the roads around here uh, go through the national forest land. Um, so I'm not sure how that will affect my riding uh, coming up in the next you know, month or two. We'll just have to wait and see. So let's go for a ride. Okay, underway. It's already hot. I'm roasting. It's only 10 in the morning. I think it's around 90 degrees already. Yesterday it got up to 109, according to my Garmin watch, of course. So it's not the most sophisticated temperature gauge, but and that was in the sun, not in the shade. But it was quite warm nonetheless. And I'm um, kind of looking forward to getting on the road. And it should be cooler today to get in some wind and to get out of the, uh, the cabin for a little bit. So hopefully there won't be as much traffic on the road. Sunday there was a ton of cars just everywhere. And I noticed that out to the north where Lake Tahoe is, it is really, really clear, which is weird because the Caldor fire is out there somewhere. And usually it's super smoky out there. But today it's like almost crystal clear, you know, compared, comparatively speaking to the previous two and a half weeks I've been here. Um, yeah, it's really clear. It's bizarre. The winds must be heading in a different direction. Oh, just thought I'd point it out. Okay, here's 245. So I'm going to be jumping off uh, 180 towards Pinehurst. This is where the ride is super nice. Once I get past this little rough patch. This part of Highway 245 is the best because you're in the in the trees. It smells great. Nice and windy. Road, good road conditions. 245 eventually leaves this forested area and then it gets, you know, more scrub, scrub brush and oaks. A lot a lot a um, lot more sun hotter but this part here is just spectacular I mostly ride with my visor up just with the Sun visor down beautiful ride just entering Pinehurst now Okay, next stop will be Miramontes. Okay, so now I'm on Dunlap Road. You could just, when you come out of those uh, taller firs into this oak and scrub brush area, you could just feel the temperature difference. It's 
significant. I love how you have to lean so much on these corners. You don't have a choice. Okay, let's go hit up Miramontes next, and then um, from there, I'll have to pull over and find the road that goes up to the uh, Hoffman Point. Can't remember what it was called. Okay, this is near Montes. I need to, oh, this guy's gonna let me pass, but I needed to actually stop and find the turnoff that I need to take, which is coming up. Okay, this is it. Sund, Sundu. I knew I had to start with an S. Wow, this is steep. Okay, this is Chuck Wagon Road. It looks like it's one lane up that way and two lanes down this way, so I think I have to go right. I'm not really sure though. Maybe I'll find a place to uh, shady spot. Check my Google Maps. But this seems to be going in the direction I want to go, so. There should be a little town, the little grocery store out here somewhere, and there's like a wildlife refuge, or something like that. It should be up here a little ways. If I see that, I know I'm on the right track. Okay, not really sure where I'm at now, but I turned on two creeks, and there's Diablo. That's not a good sign. There's a lot of roads back here. Um, but I think I kind of want to go in this direction. I really do have to stop and check my maps. But there is no shady spots that I've found. And it is blazing hot out here. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Pebble Lane. Okay, I stopped by the, the little store on this uh, back road here. I'll put the name of it or link in the description. And yeah, I'm kind of taking, I was going to take the quote unquote main road, which runs parallel to this little side road that I'm on heading towards Squaw Valley, but I decided to take this little road just because I'd rather take the smallest road possible. 
uh, to kind of enjoy the, the scenery and off the beaten path a little bit. But yeah, nice little store, friendly lady working the counter. Had a nice uh, refreshing drink and a little Danish. Yeah, now I'm gonna head towards uh, Squaw Valley. Should be pretty close up here, not too many uh, miles away, maybe one or two. And then I'm gonna head uh, to the back home on 180, stop by the gas station at Valero gas station and also pick up some supplies. I'm out of sugar, I need some sugar for my coffee. Maybe uh, some fresh vegetables and fruits if they have them, and then head back. Yeah, I wonder how the Forest Service closing all the national parks this afternoon is, like I said, how it's going to affect my exploring of these back roads. Probably shouldn't, because these are where people live, so. And these, even though there, a lot of these uh, roads are, they cross through the national forests, I suspect they'll probably keep them open and just close the campgrounds. We'll see. Wow, this is an interesting road. The asphalt is really kind of rough and different. I've never seen asphalt like this before. And definitely no guardrails. But a nice little bump to give you a nice launch if you go off the road. really windy. Once again, I think I got off the, I missed my turn. This is the valley though that I'm right up in. So uh, that should be 180 up ahead. Eventually I run into it. It's kind of nice, cool orchards. I have no idea what kind of trees they are though. Okay, I guess these are uh, some type of orange. Orange trees. Huh. Okay, that was a long long a roundabout way to get here okay let's see if I can make it whoops got to put it in gear first
Okay, back on 180. Now it's time to get some gas and some supplies and head home to do some programming. Fix up my website that has been neglected for decades.